Hello, and welcome to a special mending tutorial from Stuart Morris Textiles. This one is really fun. It's an easy way to mend holes and knit garments with a little extra stitching to make it look really cute. I call this the tulip basket mend because I think it looks like a basket of tulips. <laughs> so, super original. Anyways, this mend is really simple, and if you have been following along and have already learned some of the other techniques from my previous videos, you will be familiar with most of these techniques already, and this will take you no time. Let's get started. This is what you need. First, I'm using a mini skein tree of Stuart Morris Textiles Plant Dyed Wool Floss in the Colorway Tulip Basket, which is not a coincidence I made this color combination specifically for this project. Next, you will need a darning tool like this, egg, but I have to be honest, I never use this, so more on that in a minute. Finally, you will need a darning needle. Each skein tree comes with an optional needle set for embroidery or darning. Grab the darning needle. It's important that this is a round tip and is not sharp. Here's what I'll be donning today, a heel in a pair of woolen socks. Now here's my absolute secret to darning socks. I use a jar. This shape is my favorite. If you prefer a darning tool that's different, by all means, go to town, use it, but seriously try this at least once. I think the jar is a perfect shape for darning the heel of a sock. The first thing we need to do is reinforce the area around the hole. I am going to use duplicate stitch all the way around my hole, anchoring my stitches to the closest area of solid fabric. There is a lot of information about how to do this in my Swiss darning how to fix a big hole video, so check that out if you need a lengthy tutorial. The color of yarn you use won't matter as this step won't be seen when you are finished. That means it doesn't have to be gorgeous either, just good enough to be a tough perimeter. I am using this floss held double for this step because the wool is quite thick. To make my basket, I'm going to thread my needle with the light and dark brown threads both. I won't hold them double, but there will be two threads being worked simultaneously. Entering from the side, I am going to enter my work at the bottom right hand corner of my duplicate stitch box. Working back and forth across the box, I am going to add a series of horizontal lines. You want your lines to have a bit of space between them so that there is more than one stitch between each horizontal line. So work back and forth, turning your sock as you need to, leaving a lot of space between the stitched lines until the box is completely covered. To begin making your vertical lines, start at the upper right hand corner of your box. Weave your needle over one set of brown lines and under the next until you get to the bottom. Turn your mend so it is upright again and finish your row by stitching from the bottom right hand corner under your garment fabric two or more rows to the left and out again. 
Turn your work and work back up your mend, weaving your needle over and under the same way you did your last row. Continue in this way until you have reached the other side of your box. All of your vertical threads are going over and under the same horizontal lines with at least two rows of stitches between them. Now work your way in the other direction, this time weaving your vertical threads between each of the previous rows. You might need to dig the under threads out a bit, but it's not that hard. Do this all the way back to the right side, turning your work as you need to. As we finish the woven basket part of this mend, I want to just mention that the mending part of this project is pretty much done. Your garment has been reinforced and it's ready to go. The rest of what I want to show you is basically just for looks, so it's art, let's have some fun. Next we're going to make a little base for our tulip basket using the darker brown floss held double. I'm going to make two horizontal lines, one stitch shorter than the base of the box on either side. Next, with the lighter brown floss held again double, I'm going to add two rows of horizontal lines, this time slightly wider than the box at the top. Next, with the same lighter brown floss, this time worked as a single thread, I am going to make five diagonally leaning stitches spaced across those two horizontal stitches I just made to tack down these long stitches and add a bit of texture.
With the pink floss held double, I am going to add my flowers, which are just a single duplicate stitch, two stitches high. You can add as many as you wish, like I said, these are just for looks, so this part is just art and up to you, so go to town or make it sparse and spare, it's really your choice. How full is your tulip basket? For the green stems, I'm going to work with my green floss held double again and attempt to make these appear to be coming from beneath the basket. As you can see, I like to work from the bottom of my V shape of the pink flower and head down from there. I find it easier to get straight lines this way instead of guessing from where underneath the basket the line will be straight and coming up to meet the V. Do try if you want to make these lines straight to go from underneath your fabric, popping out your needle from under at the bottom of your stitched V flower and coming down to the basket from there to get a neater look. Oh, sorry about this part. I just forgot where the camera was, apparently. We'll be back in one second. Oh, hi! There, we're back. And this is this is basically what my mend will look like at this point. Um, I went back and added a few flowers because I thought it would look nice with some sort of uh, background flowers. But this is basically what my mend is going to look like. To finish your mend, of course you will need to weave in all of your loose ends, pull them through to the back side of your knit garment, and weave them in behind your woven box so that they won't be seen from the front. This is an important step, and we want to make sure that all of our hard work does not go to waste, so do make sure you weave in tightly all of your loose ends on the back. And that's our mend. What do you guys think? I personally think this is the cutest thing on the planet. Um, besides my kid so uh, let me know what you guys think here it is in a few different colors I'm very proud of this please try it and happy mending to everybody see you guys soon thanks for watching bye